Howdy groupies, this is Mark from Groupable, and today I am pretty excited to talk about Groupable Connect. This we have been working on for quite a while, for about a year now, and actually some planning going back several years here with what this is all about. And so let's go through what we're talking about with Groupable Connect here. And Groupable Connect is our next generation member portal. So it's the thing that's going to be serving all of the web pages, the member portal, and all of the information for the members who aren't officers of your organization. It is a replacement for the Our Lodge page system that we have used in the past. And the big thing that's different about this is that Groupable Connect is fully integrated as a first class module within our Groupable application in our groupable system. A little different than how our lodge page was, and I'll go through that a little bit more in some detail. Okay, let's talk about why we're doing this transition from our lodge page and why we've built a new member portal called Connect. So in the past, groupable and OOP what we would call on the groupable side, the membership server, and on OLP side, the OLP servers. We've had to do this two-way data sync between these servers to keep this data in sync because OLP was a freestanding application. It was separate from the member database. And synchronizing that stuff, honestly, was a serious amount of work. And anybody who comes from an information systems background knows that when you have basically kind of two sources of truth, it's really hard. So what we're transitioning to is one groupable system. And this is a big deal for us because the one system really gives us the most important thing, which is one database. We get rid of the syncing problem. Because we get rid of the synchronization problem, we now really simplify the process of rolling out new features in the future. In the past, we had to do work on the membership side. We had to do work on the OLP side. We had to duplicate data between them. Now, one database, one source of truth. It makes future development a lot easier going forward. Okay, let's talk about what's in Connect. And this is pretty crucial because these are the things that your rank and file members and everybody within the organization is going to be using to manage all their social preferences within the groupable system. So the first part we have is we have the public and private web pages, and this is for every level in your organization. So if you have, say, a Grand Lodge or a Supreme Forest, that's the top one. You're gonna have all your regions, districts, areas, your locals, all of them are gonna have pages. You're gonna have your private member portal with the online payments so your members can pay for their dues make any donations to your local group or pay for events in the future, all the calendars with your events on those so they can RSVP and pay for them, a news or a blog feed, depending on how, what you want to call it, with your internal and external contact us pages. So if a member needs to get a hold of someone, they can use the contact page. If someone from the public needs to get a hold of you, they can get a hold of you that way, a prospective member or for any purpose. Also, we're gonna have file storage there. All the things that we've done in the past for file storage, they're all gonna be in Connect. And frankly, more things with time. So let's go take a look at this. Okay, here we are in the app. And first things first, all the data that you're looking at here is redacted. It's anonymous. It's based on real data, but everything, all the names have been changed, addresses, phone numbers, emails, all that stuff. So it's all fake data but the, like the dates and things are real so that we have something that looks like a real thing. So I am not logged in here right now. I am just viewing this as an anonymous public user who has come to the web page for this organization. What I'm seeing here is the top level group within the organization. And I've got the basic homepage. It's got their avatar or their logo upcoming events in the middle column, recent news with thumbnails of any images that are attached to those. I've got a full news post page where I can see all the information that this group has posted in the form of news. I have their calendar. 
because this is the top level group. This is the events for this group and all of its subordinates. We've got photo galleries. I can pop in and look at a particular gallery. This is a carousel goes through all those. I've got files here. You can upload files, share them with permissions. The current officers of the organization, like I said, these are all anonymized fake names. Past officers, again, fake names. You can have a history page. You can actually add custom pages to the main menu. And then the last item on here is the contact us. So if a person who is a member or a member of the public wants to contact you, they can do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm logging in as a secretary of one of the locals. So you're going to see that the first place I land when I log in is in the member manager because I have member management privileges. But using the app switcher, I can easily switch over to connect and be in the connect application. Your members who don't have member management permissions, this is where they're going to land. And this is my feed for me. So it's the news from all of the organizations that I have Nexus with, which includes my locals, whatever districts or regions they're in and what parent group they belong to. I have that here on the left-hand column, also the top of the right-hand column, if there are upcoming events for one of my groups that I have Nexus with, I would see how many are upcoming and I can click that and go look at that particular piece of data. Also, I can link to my calendar here which is all the events for me throughout the organization. I can link to all the local groups that I have Nexus with. Once I'm one of those, I've got the menu here and the menu here. I can go back up to the top group. I can go to my feed. Basically, I can navigate around here any way I want. Okay, let's talk about you as a member managing your data. You can do a couple things in here. Particularly, you can add a photo for your profile. Everyone loves to have their photo on their profile in these kinds of social apps, and you can do that. The other thing that's really important, what we're bringing here, is much more advanced management of your email and postal mail preferences, and also what shows up in your feed. And I'm just going to run through that real quickly and just give you an example of that. Now I'm back in the app here. I happen to be sitting on my feed, but it doesn't really matter where you are. In the upper right hand corner, you've got your name in here. I can click my profile. And in here, in the privacy settings here, I can control if my photo shows, my name shows, my phone or my email in Groupable Connect or if my name shows publicly. And so what that is, that mostly applies to officers. So if you turn off your name showing, you're not going to show on the officer list if someone looks at an officer list for a current or a past officer. If you're, we don't do photos or phones or emails at the moment publicly, but maybe we'll do that for officers, but you've got complete control now. And you can even control within the app for members only what you want to show up. The other thing I've got down here is all of your group preferences. So I'm gonna show you a quick example of this about following. Following is if something shows up in your feed. So if we go to my feed, we'll see here, I've got my group one is showing up here with their news. So if I go to my profile and I turn off my group one and I say, I don't want to see that in my feed anymore. I go to my feed. It's not there. Those posts are gone from my feed. Now, if I go back to my profile and turn it back on and go back to my feed, they're there. Also in the profile, you can control whether you want to be emailed by any of these groups or if you want them to be able to send you postal mail with one caveat. Even if you turn these off, you'll still get your dues notice either by email or postal mail, or if there's something transactional, like we need to send you a receipt for a payment, that's still going to go to you because we need to be able to send transactional communications to the members. Also a little bit more here that's on the profile. I've got a complete timeline of all the things that you've done within the organization and also the current offices you hold and any payments that you've made to the organization. So how do you actually get to connect? So every organization that we work with, they have a separate URL, a web address that they go to. 
So that's going to be communicated to you as a member, either by the secretary of your local group or from your parent group. And then how do you get started? It's really easy. As long as we have contact information in the system, you can create an account and it's straightforward. We just need to have cell phone or email to go through that process. A little bit of note right now for the current transition. If you had an Our Lodge page account, that username and password is going to work and connect. We've migrated all of those over for you, so you don't have to worry about that. If you used OLP, you can use Connect. Day one, nothing else you need to do. So what do you need to do next? If you're an officer of your organization, a secretary or something like that, just sit tight. We're going to be migrating data here in October. And if you're a rank and file member, as soon as it goes live, you're going to get some notification about that, that the system is live and you're able to sign up for it. Now let's talk just a little bit about data migration. We are bringing over all of the necessary data for your groups from our lodge page into connect. So if your organization had our lodge page, all that data is going to be in connect when you get in there on day one. Also, all user accounts. If you had a user account on OLP and you were a rank and file member, you didn't use M2 or groupable, that's fine. That username and password is going to work for you. So you're good to go. And we are really looking forward to this moving forward. We're This has been a lot of work for us. And I think that you're going to see a lot of things from us over the next year that it's just so much easier now that we're going to be all on one system, one database, one source of truth, and one application that we can continue to work with, grow, and evolve. Have a great day.